Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Russ, what you doing? Let's find out. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another live stream. We're going to be getting into some Jackal on the NES, a super fun game, two-player game, uh, but I'll be playing it alone. They should do some online play. I don't know if this is on the Switch online where they have the NES games, because then that'll be an option. Quick shout-out to my Patreons down below. We got Dan and Nicole's Treasures Untold, Joe Shivi, Trace Living Good, Samantha Chang, Rodney Torres, and Retroholics 16. Thanks so much for supporting the live streams. Jump into the main here. Jackal. Excellent. Certainly a fun one. We should be able to beat this. We have two hours in the stream. We can uh, certainly get through this game. Let's go through here. Your brothers in arms are hostages behind enemy lines. And you are their only hope for freedom. I mean, <laughs> if you get to read the whole thing, how fast you gotta read that? I guess we'll let it do another loop so I can get the rest of the story. What's up, Tony? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. 1988, Jack. You're the only hope. But the firepower you'll face to rescue them is awesome. Rescue the POWs in the buildings. You'll need a pocket full of... They need at least 15 more seconds on that window there. <laughs> Good lord. Sergeant Quint, Corporal Gray. So, I get, so you got two guys per jeep. Right, and those are the four people in there. We'll finish this up. You'll need a pocket full of miracles and the ferocity of a wild jackal. Colonel Decker, Lieutenant Bob, Sergeant Quinn, Corporal Gray. So that's our jackal team. Now, I did want to play the arcade version. But I, I don't remember ever playing it in there. This battle will make your blood boil. But it has the same premise, except there's a few differences with the arcade version. With it being just one very long level, and this is broken up into different levels. And then the Jeeps, I believe, were the same color. So on the NES, if you're playing two-player, one of the Jeeps uh, is brown. So you can tell who's who. So you can run these guys over, too which is pretty sweet. Great music. And you do have grenades, which work good because they do go over things. Once you do upgrade to the missiles, they can no longer go like up and over walls, which kind of stinks. I'm gonna switch, you can keep both of them while you're going through the game, you know? I know, Lieutenant Bob, like they couldn't come up with a better name, like. <laughs> All right, so now I have missiles. When you save the POWs that are flashing, you get the upgrade. The missile upgrade. Is someone walking over here? Yeah. Okay. So once you go up, okay, I was gonna say I don't think you can only travel back so far. start off fairly easy. They certainly ramp up the difficulty. Obviously, the uh, the goal is not to get hit, so you don't lose your uh, your upgrades here. Because then when you go back to the uh, grenade, it's tough. Especially when you get four-way missiles. Right, so we'll blow this up, get our POWs. Jump in. Play Bones, what is up? And Mike is in the house as well. He says, I love this game. Yeah, me and Jay talk about it all the time on our podcast and how I wish they made a sequel to this game. I can't see uh, why they didn't. I'm sure, it felt, uh, I'm sure it sold well, well enough. It's a two-player game, so like those are rare back in the day on the NES. Like, all right at the same time, mind you. I'm sure Mario Brothers was two-player, but you had to wait 
until the other person died. This way you can play together. So especially if you had brothers or sisters and you, you only got a few NES games a year, you know, on your birthday, maybe with a report card, this would have been clutch to pick up. Or nice rental, you know, for the weekend. So it is interesting with the missiles here, what direction you're facing it shoots, but with guns, firing guns, always facing up, no matter what direction your jeep is. I do have a turbo controller so I can rapid fire this. Doesn't work so well for the missiles, but with the guns, yes. Oh, oh, almost got it. <laughs> Futzing around. Oh shoot, we got boats now. Look out. Oh, it goes that way. Okay, so let's try to get up here. Boom. So you get a little bit more range with this missile, because it has the extra. Ooh, so I can get him from that far away. Pretty good. Alright, we got a special tank coming up over here. Watch out for it. There he is. Oh, get behind that. Boom, okay. Let's get the upgrade. Now we're four right. That's as high as you go. That's my chopper. Coming to pick up POWs. Still get them behind the barriers as it travels. Make sure to get all the guns. While I'm dropping off the POWs and we get shot. Oh, ho, ho. gotta draw the fire. Oof, and this one. Up. Let's go. There we go. Woo. Oh, another one of these tanks. Bing, bang, boom. Got him. Oh, okay. wait, look out. Okay, we're gonna have to drop him. Get some more POWs right here. That's where you get. See, I already got, I think you just get a lot of more points if you're already maxed out. Nice, that was a twofer right there. Get some, get some coinage for that. <laughs> I suppose we could have coined it up once I once I drop my crew off. Alright, is that it? Alright, let's let's go guys. So you get some points for each of them. Should get a one up. I got everyone in there. There we go. That's a full crew. Must have been hanging out the sides of the Jeep while he's bringing them back. All right, off the chopper goes. All right, first boss battle. I think it's just a bunch of tanks. Yeah, a little bit bigger. They take two hits, they turn brown. Oh god. <laughs> ah! He got me. He got me. Now we're all the way back to this. Got him. I should at least downgrade you one. All the way back. Here? Shaud is in the house. What is up? with these killer tracks. Alright, we can get upgrade right here. Right out the gate, we're back to missiles. Boom. So this one, you gotta watch out for the pillars. The pillars do fall. They can hurt you. Alright, there's two ways you can go. A little, little bit of branching paths. Oh, okay, they trick you out. There is one where you go up there. God. I don't think you can kill those with the gun. Oh, what's this? There we go. You can blow this one up off screen, I think. It's the, like, Medusa head thing. Watch. I 
pretty sure it's dead. Let's see. It'll just blow up when I get to it. Oh god, dodge these. How are we gonna get out of this? Let me draw that fire. There we go. Draw that fire. God. Watch. Oh, it didn't do it. It does that on the bridge one we can do. Oh, because this one can't blow up. Oh, there we go. Or it can't. I don't know. I never played this game before. <laughs> Forgetting stuff. It's been a minute since I played it. Here's our, here's our guys. Jump in. We're getting chicken nuggies. I've actually been trying to pick up a copy of this game, but I haven't found it. Found a great deal. I ended up picking up Gradius 3, though. Now, I haven't played that one in quite some time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get this guy. Don't shoot my men. Okay, we're good. Uh, Gradius 3, yeah, I'll have to see it. What's this game going with? This game can't be going for more than... It's got to be under $10. I'm thinking. There we go. We got the two for right there. I mean, I got my copy years ago. I believe I have it in box, too. Some of the pillars you can you can shoot before they fall on you. What do we got? All right, back to the four way, baby. Took a minute. Nice, we got an extra life with that one. Woo! They're bringing the, bringing the heat. I'm trying to get him on the side here. There we go. Is that it? Okay, let's drop these bad boys off. Go, crew. We get an extra life, let's see. No extra life. All right, fair enough. Hit that like button, y'all. Yeah, we just passed uh, 40,000 subscribers on the channel. So, certainly going going big, keeping with the, uh, the snowball effect. A lot of people watching my short, short videos. One of the uh, shorts I put it, I think it's at like 20 million views now of me doing one of the... Um, like Mario Kart wheel things on my car. Okay, you get some points here if you shoot this. There you go. Okay, here's where you can cheat. Alright. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> Look out. Oh, that one fell too. Alright, this is it. Okay, here you go. Watch this. So if you go up here. Look how the heads stay. I thought this was always interesting. So I just shot those, right? They're dead. But not until I get up here, they, they won't blow up. Get rid of this guy. It should be about 10 to $12, but after shipping, folks are at 20 bucks. Wow, okay, so you almost gotta wait to get it locally for at a game convention. Gradius was $15 with shipping, so that's, that's way yeah, more reasonable. Alright, we'll blow up. Boom. Kind of interesting, you know. And then let's get these like this. Oh. Like this. There we go. So we use the four way four. Oh, God. Oh, God. Got them too. Okay. Boom. Don't move. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, oh we got the Medusas. And they, and they got tanks coming out. Like, they're like... It's like, hey, remember remember the boss for the first level? We also gotta deal with them. And the Medusa heads that are shooting missiles. I believe the, they said this was an added boss. This boss wasn't in the arcade version. Okay, I'm down to one. Just hit it with the grenades. Alright. We got her. <laughs> Perfect. So we can get these guys right over. We blow those up too. The ship. The ship got me. <laughs> the the statue kind of reminds you of Kylo Ren. I could almost see that. I always thought Medusa was, you know, like Greek statue, right? Medusa's head or something. Yeah, I can see this being in Contra. I feel like this soundtrack and Contra soundtrack kind of amps you up equally. That could be on a playlist soundtrack that, that amp you up. So I could put on my 8-bit bliss channel. I haven't uploaded on there anymore couple weeks. Been so busy. Trying to trying to maintain uh four YouTube channels. Alright, I'm gonna watch the submarines here. Oh no, he got me. Grab my dudes. JT, what's up? Jackal rocks. What's good, Russ? Your vacation looked incredible. I'm glad it, it looked incredible. It was a good time. The weather, though, was unfortunately... There was a storm coming in. And it was... The first day we got there was in the 70s. The rest of the week, it was like 60s. With, like, wind chill. Like, the wind was like 20 miles per hour. So, we didn't go in the water at all after that. And, um... Yeah, super windy. Even walks on the boardwalk was like... Ugh. But it was good to get away. We did stop at a cool indoor antique mall that had a huge, huge toy and retro store in it that I had gone to before. And I got some dope pickups. I got a mask um, action figure on a, on a motorcycle, a Bucky O'Hare figure, um, a Simpsons watch, 
and... What else was there? There's one more thing. I'm looking at the case. Oh! Uh, Barnyard Commandos. Oh! Darn lasers. Who we got? This is our last guy? Oh. Not doing good in the jackal. Yes, I was in Virginia Beach. They were setting up for a pretty cool Tony Hawk um, thing that was coming in, in a few weeks, like in two, two or three weeks in June. They were building a half pipe right on the beach for the events. that truck going. Ah, I knew it. I got stuck on the gun. <laughs> Blast. I forget how many continues to get. I don't think it's infinite, but. Yeah, it's funny because like it was actually warmer in Connecticut while we were in Virginia. And when we got back to Connecticut, it was even warmer. It was like high 70s uh, the rest of the week. And I believe in Virginia, it got rained out for Memorial Day weekend. So that was the first uh, big trip with the baby because we drove there. So the baby was in the car for like, you know, eight hours in the car seat. Too much of a fuss. It did take longer to get home that New York traffic. Get a drink here. There was a guy who skated from California to VA Beach. Wow. Wonder how long that took. That's commitment. Think he got there around. Oh, no kidding. Maybe I saw him. Wonder about the wear on those skateboard tires. I n imagine that, yeah. I mean, I don't know how many hours of skate we had. Definitely wore it down. That'd be something to see. Nexus, what is up? Oh, he did do it on one wheel set. He had a backup, um, but stretched him out. Yeah, I guess he was like, you know what? Might as well. And I wonder what the route he took, you know? With, I guess, obviously, he couldn't take the highway, so he's doing, like, back roads. And just, like, camping, maybe, or staying at hotels. trying to sneak by that gate. Oh, God. Ah! Where's my other guy? Can I still get him? Yep. Still got him. For sure. This game rules. I don't think enough people talk about it. Good soundtrack. Fun game, but especially two player. Why does he get killed by the laser? Too. 
slime bucket in the house. What is up? have anyone? Oh, I didn't get close enough. Synergies in the house, Jackal. Blood will flow. <laughs> I know, they say that, like, jeez. That's my crew. They're out. Figured, you know, uh, Memorial Day just passed. So I was like, let's play some type of uh, war game. I was gonna do Rambo, but I don't think I'll get very far in Rambo. Played it very few. It plays a lot like uh, Zelda 2. Mega Dan, I believe. Played that. Oh, there we go. That's someone up. Oh god. Oh, that was a perfect. Look at that. Hit the replay on that. Quick snack. Snacky snack time. Wily Wallabies. This is the green flavored, the green apple. So they they sell these at like Target, but they only have the red and the black usually. But I found out that the Dollar Tree started carrying the green. So every time I go there, I get like five or six bags. Just like that that green apple. And it's 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 got like a weird like ridge, ridges on the... See like how it's... Because they changed it once and it was like a straight cylinder. And they taste different when they were just like straight pieces of liquish. So, <laughs> check them out. They have other flavors, too, but the most common are the red and black, and then sometimes you get the green apple. I don't know. How did the Jeep hold 12 people? They're all sitting on each other's laps. I think I had the wasabi peas before. They were pretty good. <laughs> Fair enough. Gotta get your dinner. Thanks for popping in. Yeah. Go to um, Dollar Tree. Now, I'm not sure if it's Dollar Tree or Family Dollar because the store I'm getting at is a combined family dollar slash dollar tree together. So I can't say which one sells them. If you go to Dollar Tree and they don't have it, then I guess it's at family dollar. But green apple. I Last time I had a, I had to order them from Amazon, a uh, like a case or something, because they, they didn't have them at Target anymore. Stop carrying them at Target. And a lot of other places that have snacks didn't have them either. Someone did tell me to check out uh, Bass Pro Shop. Apparently, they have a lot of uh, assortment of candies there, but I'd, I've never been in the store before. This one about 20 minutes away. Oh! He got me. We're back down to grenades. Oh, God, these things. You gotta hit him more than once. Oh god, all the dodging. Alright, two hits per thing. Oh, oh god. One. Two. Get it. Okay, okay. Two left. One for 
you. One for you. One for you. Maybe those ones are three. Oh, is there any more? Oh, yeah, there's one down here. Yeah! Green Apple matches the Jeeps. Oh, for sure. And now this landscape here. My, I saw the green went wasabi peas. Yeah. What's funny is when they were in the store, it was like with other green snacks too. Like they they had the um uh the Wiley Wallabies red and black like on the other side, and then there was for, for whatever reason this other section, and it was like all the green, not even green snacks. There was like you know like um Funyuns or something that had green in the packaging. So odd. Hooked on Oreo ca Cakesters. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. Oreo Oreo Cakesters. My favorite snack is a bowl of peanut butter M&M's and wine gummies? Wine gums. Or are you saying wine gummies? I was trying to get some peanut butter M&M's the other day. Or Reese's Pieces. Okay, so you do go slower. This is like, we're in the swamp area, right? blow you up oh that's it I do think we have possibly two continues left they're super soft puffy Oreos the cakes okay rid of the missile sight here. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, God. I'm itching. I'm an itchy nose. <laughs> it's going to cost me. All right, so you go, oh, oh, so you go faster on the green here. up with the specials here. They know they're like, you're later in the level. You're going to need those power-ups. Rodney Torres, what is up, my dude? They aren't my favorite, but sure delicious. They should do like a peanut butter version. Oreo peanut butter cakesters. Definitely all about the peanut butter stuff. Nice, two fur, three fur. Oh, we got a train coming too, right? Oh god. What is that? Can I blow that up? Oh, there's the train. You blow the train up. What happened to me? That killed me? The train? Blowing up the train? Oh god! This freaking guy. We got a one up and then blew up on the train. And that took took all my guys. I don't have any he's like, I'm out. I don't have any soldiers to give. Enjoying Tears of the Kingdom. 
maybe. I'll give you a little more thoughts on that. <laughs> Reese's Cakesters would be cool, for sure. I said I'm all about the peanut butter stuff. I do have my, let's see, I'll, I'll talk about it after this boss is a boss, right? Okay. Yeah, it's the helicopter. Does he come back? Do more jeeps come? Gosh. Gosh darn it. Yes, we got him. I didn't think we were going to get him. Here, I get the here every every time. <laughs> Jay Ritt, welcome back. I didn't even look how far are we got. One more here. Are we on the last level. So I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom. I got like twenty something hours into it. I played very few on the vacation. Uh, I stayed up a little bit late in bed and played. I don't know how much further I'm going to go into it. My, my problem with it is everything takes so long. So long. Like, even just, uh, like I was doing, all right, let me get all the towers so I can fast travel everywhere. And that took like probably four hours to do. And you get to one tower and it's, it's like, one of them is, I think Alexa's saying something. Uh, you get to one of the towers and you have to like, it's not working. And then you have to figure out a puzzle to unlock that tower. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Can't I just unlock the tower? So it wasn't Breath of the Wild. Just get you getting to the tower was the, the, the issue. Alexa, turn off music. But I've, I've done all the towers. I've got... I was gonna try to get the Master Sword, but now I can't get to where it is. Um, I beat... Uh, where was it? Ruto uh, Temple there, and now I'm on the Zora Domain. And then even with Zora Domain, it's like... I get there and speak to one of the guys, and then it's like, you gotta go find this. Then go here to get get this armor and then do this quest and i'm like can't i just do the temple so i i download it um god of war on ps5 well i had bought it on ps4 so i upgraded it or whatever you want to say so i started playing that today i feel like i'm gonna have a better time with god of war just because it's, it's more straightforward there's no there's no load times that was another thing got me with with the um, shrines. You get to the shrine, you put your your hand up in front of it, and it has to load, right? Then it opens the door, and you can see in the shrine. Then you go in. Then it has to load again, and then you're going down down the elevator, and it has to load one more time. That's three load screens. Just get into the shrine. And I'm like, let's go. If I'm doing the shrines, like, if you do all the shrines, I want to calculate how much, if you watched all the cutscenes in the shrines, how many hours it would actually be. I imagine, like, five or ten hours worth of your life gone. <laughs> and I still have, like, garbage weapons. Like, all my weapons are, like, uh, like, ten effectiveness so we'll see I want to try to just beat it just beat the four temple things you got to go to and see if I can beat the boss but I'm like I'm already 20 something hours into it and we were looking at other switch games and I put I put like 15 hours into Metroid Dread I think and I, I beat that game and, and started it again. Let's get there. No, oh, I can't go. 
that's the only thing. I wish I had the grenades here. So how are you supposed to get these guys? Oof. Really? How are you supposed to get them? There we go. <laughs> that was my little Tears of the Kingdom rant. It's okay. Just some things, you know. I hate, I hate the weapons that they, they bring, too. It's like, oh, now I gotta go find more weapons. I, I got to a point where um, you're 100 hours in. I didn't even look back. You're 100 hours in, and I just started my second dungeon. Yeah, it's like, there's so many side quests and, and other side quests. Side, side quests you can do. Um, I had gotten to a tower that one of the things was um, missing. And there was a um, like a pterodactyl bird thing or whatever flying around. So you had, to, you had to get him and shoot him down to get it back. And I had no bow. My bow broke. And I was trying to climb the tower and drop out of the sky and kill it. I had to go like on a side quest to go find a, a new bow just, just so I could shoot this thing down to open the tower. And that took like an hour. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> mm, yeah, we're going here. Oh, we got two guys. Yes, three guys. Oh, oh. What does he got? Lasers? Or is that fire? Alright, just have straight missiles. That brings about a good question. What is... I just saw a video. The record Tears of the Kingdom speedrun is, I think, 20 minutes. I think they got it under the half hour. It was a half an hour. But I think someone got it down to 20 minutes. Which, you know, I'm curious to see. If not, I could be confusing it with Breath of the Wild. Because I did watch someone do Breath of the Wild speedrun on there. But I know it's at least 30 minutes. Someone beats it. Which, you know, I'm generally curious to see. I mean, it's probably glitches and stuff. Oh, another thing, too, is I've, I've turned my switch off um, of auto-updates. So, um, I'm using the glitches to duplicate all my items. If you jump, select, hold the items, then you hit, you know, B and Y, drop them, you pick them up, you get them again. So I've done that with a ton of my items. So that's why I have tons of diamonds and, and, and food and all that. I'm like, I'm not updating. I enjoy cheating this way just to make it a little bit easier. There is ways to duplicate weapons, but it's a lot harder. So what I want to put the time into that. I did just get the flight suit. Which, I don't know if that's worth it or not. There's so many freaking armors in the game. I, I, the the one Link uh, Link's Awakening armor is pretty cool. So I might try to get that one. What is this? Now I'm stuck? Alright, go down here. And then we'll go here quickly. Go! I get stuck in the corner! Come on! Some BS right there. We can get him over the thing now. Oh, we got one guy. Oh, yeah, this guy got a little flamethrower. Oh, that's a guy. I'm like, I'm shooting him. He won't die. The S squad's in the house. I looked down. I got killed. Are you kidding me? The S squad's in the house. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks so much for popping in for the live stream. All right. Well, at least we can get these guys over the over the fence. I don't know if there's one. There might be one more level. destroy the gates, like the gates themselves. No. 
No, go. Crap, 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 crap. Because now we got that gun. That gun on us. Let's go back this way. Okay, good. Ah! <laughs> Get to the chopper! I guess we gotta start over. Jeez, Louise. Okay, I'm not taking this jacket off the hot. <laughs> yeah, people people beat it in, in under an hour. Chum Nasty, what's up? Welcome. Make sure you guys hit that hit that thumbs up. Feel free to check out my newest video. I posted a video. I did um AI on Photoshop. They have a new update. You can use AI, and I took box art and expanded it nes box art i was like what would it look like if we drew it back some and ai kind of did some cool stuff with it all right well we got time to go through one more we can we can probably cheat and use some save states if need be one two three four five there's six levels so we weren't even at the last level yet all right so this be this be a run Pretty sure, pretty sure safe states will work. Let's see. We'll check it early, right? As long as it loads here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're ready to cheat our way to victory. I have beaten it in the past. It's certainly easier with two people. There's a lot, a, lot, a lot of ground to cover. And bullets to keep track of on screen. Saw the clip of that on TikTok. So cool. Yeah, I did another version on that was a short format where it turned out a lot better because I'm getting used to the uh, the program. Because a lot of the box art on NES has like writing, so like the AI was getting confused, so I cropped a lot of that out. And it worked out a lot better. So I might do a full form second part. I don't know. We'll see how the video does. It's got, you know, a few hundred views. I think it's got like 300 views. People are digging it. I'll try another one. Or maybe we could do, you know, another system. I, I chose NES. I'm going. So maybe we could do Sega. Like Game Boy or something. I don't know. Just trying to think of fun, fun video ideas. I prefer cheating everything when possible. <laughs> I will say, so I started the God of War, the new God of War Roanoke. Oh, I saw the guy over there. Um, and it gives you the a difficulty thing. So one you could do the story, like I only care about the story and everything will be super easy. So I chose the one next to that. And then it was like balanced and then something and then God of War. If there's an easy mode, usually I'll choose it. Just because, again, time, too. Do I want to sink 50 hours into a game where I got so many other games to play? That's why I said, like, Breath of the Wild, or Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I've, I've probably got, you know, almost 30 hours into it. 
Ah, I was gonna save too. Stuck on trees. How come they could go through the trees so easily? <laughs> Game Junction says about to go live myself. Hope your stream goes well, dude. Much appreciate it. Have fun on your stream. After I stream here, I'm going to be recording the, uh, the podcast, the Weekly War Pipe. We do both episodes. We record on Wednesdays. So this week's episode, if you guys haven't, uh, Going over to the weekly Warp Pipe YouTube channel, we're talking about if you were stranded on a desert island, what game would you bring with you to play? It's the only game you're going to be playing to your rescue. Uh, so head over to the YouTube page or Facebook group and you can leave your response and we'll read it on the air. Yeah, we're going to save here. I guess. Let's save somewhere. Might as well save. Nexus is like, save. Good call. Good call. Okay. Don't have all the upgrades, but that's okay. All right, let's go. Let's wait for him, and then we'll come into frame like this. Get him there. Perfect. Get him there. Run that dude over. Notice that my debit card expired on Patreon. This month. Oh, <laughs> I pay. I mean, you guys would support me for like ten years, so I was like, "All right, whatever." They they did their time. Much appreciate it. I try to update Patreon as much as I can, find new ways to to give the shout outs and everything. So I, I very gratefully appreciate your support over the years. Nice. Okay, now it's gonna save here. But yeah, again, I said I put like I'm probably at 30 hours. The one thing I will say I do enjoy is I can play Tears of the Kingdom anywhere because it's on the Switch. So oftentimes I bring it to bed and I'll play it while the wife goes to bed. And if I don't have work the next day, it's like okay, I can stay up, play it for three hours, and it doesn't matter. But again, there's so much to do, and, and a lot of times I end up having to look up walkthroughs on where to go, what to do to get whatever puzzle finished or whatever. So, and that aspect, I'm like, oh, I wish it was just more straightforward. There's so much you can do. Eight million be the next <laughs> to over. Ah! Ping, ping, ping. I was gonna say, I don't know how I didn't survive that. Did I not? Okay, what's that?
best game on NES. <laughs> Didn't you just beat this with Jay? I think he said he went over your house and beat this with you. We got to the second to last level. I died. So now we're, we're cheating a little bit. This is this game genie again? I don't, I don't know. I haven't figured out how to work the, uh, if you could do game genie on the, uh, emulators here. Ooh. Oh, we could start over, but I think that was a good run. Now, someone said this looks like Kylo Ren. I forgot that shit. Looks like Kylo Ren? Maybe. Hey, Oak City Gamers. 99 cent donation. Let's go. Thank you so much, guys. Much appreciated. Let's keep these streams going. Every Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Let me know what retro games you want me to play. Totally died there. We got to save here. There we go. Nice. It came up in the super chat. It did work. Uh, let's see. Shouts. What do you say? Tried to play Xenoblade Chronicles years ago and got overwhelmed about 30 hours. Great game, but just couldn't commit. Again, yeah. So that happened to me with uh, Bravely Default on the 3DS. I think I put like 30, 40 hours into it. And I, I didn't beat it yet. And I was like, I can't. I can't anymore. I get, yeah, if that's your only game you got, you know, maybe it's great for some kids. Or if you have that kind of time, that free time. Especially now, having the baby. I think I got 10 minutes of uh, gameplay of God of War today. When I put the baby down, we loaded the game up. And then she woke up. <laughs> so, I'm all about the shorter games for sure. Nope, gotta start that one over. I can't lose too many guys. Uh, to be fair, Zelda has never been straightforward. You always gotta do this and this and this. Well, to an extent. Like, you take a look. I mean, I haven't played all of uh, Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword. So I can't say with those, but at least with, like, uh, what we got, Ocarina, um, uh, what are the other ones there? <laughs> with Waker. With Tears of the Kingdom, I feel like it's this, 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 like, too much. Because even, even compared to Breath of the Wild, they said, okay, Breath of the Wild, you get, you got the little towers you go to unlock the map you get there it's just make it to the top basically and now with this one it's like oh i got to the tower but it's now broke and i need to do something to fix it so here's a side quest while i'm participating in a side quest <laughs> save that right there <laughs> i didn't even know you had a youtube channel to be honest I got four. I technically got five, but I never got to start the fifth one. I do have five YouTube channels. Oh, God. Okay. Woo. And we got a one-up. Oh, God. Tank's coming. Okay. <laughs> Caught me off guard. I know all about losing game time for the baby. Absolutely, it's a different, like NES games would be perfect because you could beat them in uh, you know, one sitting. Oh, and I do have an update. Um, where is it, right here, here, hang on.
so what was it two week two weeks ago i think it was two weeks ago we streamed this game here brand new game for the game boy batty zabella focus on there so i did end up i did end up bringing this game with me on vacation and i did beat it we couldn't beat it on the live stream i got stuck but i did end up beating it, it was a good time this is a um, like a point and click adventure, brand new game for the Game Boy Advance. Um, the Retro Room put this out. If you guys haven't seen it, you can check out the live stream of me playing it. We had a good time with it. It's kind of it's a little risque, I'd say, but brand new Game Boy game, super cool. So I was I was glad I brought this and I did beat this. Once I beat this, then I was just playing Tears of the Kingdom on the on the Switch, getting my time in on there. Got to get caught up on the chat there. You met a guy drives a literal Mario Kart and said, there's no way this guy. <laughs> oh, are you talking about, um, I think Nexus is talking about Link to the Past. I remember waking up. Then my uncle died. Then I had a rescue princess who sent me to a village to find an old man, which sent me to some ruins to get a stone. Then the old man gave me boots. <laughs> you have five, you just don't produce for them. Yeah, I have, I have four current YouTube channels that I am making content currently for. Russ Lyman. Um, the weekly warp pipe. We're doing two videos a week. If you guys haven't checked that out, Wednesdays and Saturdays we do videos. We got snacky snack time where I do food reviews, and then Eight Bit Bliss is my fourth one. All video game music. It's just like a screen and music. I change out the screens to make it visually something, but you can put it on the TV, and I have different moods and stuff like that. So I'm trying to produce for that one here and there. I did just hit. Um, 40,000 subs on this channel what are we up to now we're about halfway halfway there to a to a silver play button 40,600 subs let's see does will it update did i get any more yep that's it for now but it's all it's all in the shorts the youtube shorts that i'm doing is where a majority of the subs are going because you'll see i'll post full form long content and it still only gets a few hundred views even though i have this many subscribers dude i wonder if we can find that george russ and i gave each other shout outs at 50 subs on our original channel is your original channel still up it would be under g unit lima right yeah i mean me and george we i've been doing youtube for probably 12 years now <laughs> You subbed uh, on a Tuesday at one fifty or three fifty. Next year, it was early. Met him in a chat. Saw his channel. Said this guy is unique, not to follow. Heck yeah, Russ. All I played is, <laughs> dude. If you could sink a hundred hours into that game easily, for sure. My friend David put about seventy hours into uh, Tears of the Kingdom because he's like, "Where were you at?" And I'm like, "This is how far I am." And I'm like. I don't know. I don't know how much more time I really want to sink into that. I said I have now switched over to God of War. I feel like I'm going to be able to beat that game in like a week or so. And then um, go back to tears. <laughs> Until Spider-Man 2 comes out. See, see, that's the difference though. Like, I feel like Spider-Man 2, I could put 100 hours into that game and be okay with it. Because the first one was so much fun. I borrowed it from my friend. I beat it. I did a few side stories, but um, I ended up giving it back to him. But I had a real good time just how they produced it and made it. I don't know. Thank you, Chum Nasty. Much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, Cadence of Hyrule. Um, I haven't played that series yet. I did play a, a um, like, Link to the Past clone game that's on the switch blossom tail i think it was called that was super good i really enjoyed that one i had gotten the soundtrack uh on vinyl from uh what is it <coughs> excuse me now i'm forgetting the uh respawn records i got the, they they said here's the soundtrack we'll give it to you you gotta check this game out though so i did end up beating that 
Actually, I had started playing that at the hospital when Gwen was born. I think it took me, you know, two weeks to beat it. We were on maternity leave anyway, so I had plenty of time. Oh, come on! Right up the back. What? 500 hours into Breath of the Wild? That's crazy. That's like a full-time job. Props to you. Were you playing any other games? Or just that? See, I could see if maybe you played through all the other games you got. And you're like, you know what? I play Breath of the Wild. So I get a new game. This part right here is a pain. As you can tell. I like beating games, not marrying them, and owing them support. <laughs> Again! I'm not learning. Should we go up the other way? Jeez. See, this, I was trying to go this way because there's a fence at this one. That's where they get you on this side. Ah, oh, we're just going to leave it. I can't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get back. There we go. We got an extra life right there. Come on. We'll save after we get these guys. Russ, until you build your first tank, don't give up. <laughs> I've just watched videos of people, what people build. I'm like, what? How do they have time to do this? No one's playing the game. They're just building stuff. I have not built the tank yet. One of the first things I built was like a simple carriage. It was literally like one piece of board with four wheels. And then I had done something. And then there was like fire. And then my little makeshift thing caught on fire. Then I caught on fire and then like died. And I was like, I'm done. I don't know where you get the auto build thing. I heard that's a thing. So once you build something, you just like press a button and if you have all the parts, it builds it automatically. What? Where did I save? Oh, wasn't paying attention with the shooting back. But I've been saving like TikTok videos of like, get the best armor here, get, go here to get this thing. Be sure to make this recipe. So I got a few of those saved to kind of go back and be like, okay. Like I got in the Master Shield. I'm working on getting the Master Sword now. I just, I can't get to where it is. Um, so we're seeing, I just got the flight suit or glide suit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I unlocked all the towers. I got that done. And now I'm trying to get to the water temple. I just, uh, I did whatever side thing I had to do. And now I think a big, like, whirlpool thing's supposed to open up. I know the bridge part of this was like, what? That's where like the game immediately gets harder. It's like creep. Also, you got to get pretty close to the to the edge there to have the screen scroll. You get the auto-build ability in the depths. 
You know that thing they didn't mention to anyone? <laughs> I know. How about that? They were all like, sky, sky, you're in the sky. There's like seven islands in the sky. Yet the depths is the entire above ground map, but below it. So it's like, huh. <laughs> I guess they just wanted us to be surprised. I've explored a little bit in there. This and get a save. Okay, don't go away. I don't that. Oh, that I think kills everyone on screen. I, I thought it was a uh, an extra life. Thanks, Nexus. Yeah, see you on there. The entire Tears of the Kingdom experience is a cheater's experience. Float through the ceiling. Well, I did hear like. Whatever shrines you go to, there's a light route under that or whatever. So you could use that as your map. But again, I said I, I haven't updated my Switch at all, so I can still use the duplication glitch. So I'm cheating that way. Okay, I remember these last time. Oh! <laughs> I knew it was there. It's again that screen scroll. Boss time. Here we go. Has anyone played the new Jet Grind radio game? Didn't even hear about that one. Nice. Dante, how's it going? How's your Play Choice 10 cabinet? Funny, funny you should ask. I was working on it. Um, I'm shooting a video. I've shot a good amount of footage. I ordered some parts. I got to replace um, the joystick. Try to talk and fight this boss. Um, I got T molding, the joystick, and then I got the 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 decal for the control panel. And I took everything out. I got new buttons and everything, so I filmed all that. Took it all out. Went to lay the decal, and it wasn't right. And then I had moved it a little bit, and it like peeled the sticker up. And then I said, "All right, let me try to finish it." Ruined it. Had to peel it off order another one it came in the mail and now i'm a little afraid to put it on i don't know if i can wet the surface put it on to get it situated and then have like the wetness dry i've seen people do that but i don't know if it works with this type of decal so unsure so i'm hoping to get that on and then i can put the joystick and the buttons and all that back together and then I just need to put some paint on it on the sides and put the new T molding in. And we'll be good. Now we're going to save here. And then I may fart around with getting, I looked into like uh, one of the, you can put like an NES game slot in there. So then maybe I can get like a multi cart and put that in there and have it one, one of the slots like all the NES games. And then I would like to get, um, I think you could hook up an NES Zapper to it, because it doesn't have the gun. And the guns are so expensive online, I'm like, I'll just use an NES Zapper, I'm fine with that, instead of getting it, the actual, like, it looks more like a Western style gun. Do I have to hit it with the actual missile? Like that? There's no way these take this many hits. There we go. Lord. Ah, okay, we got you. Whew. Yeah! We 
we finally got one that said yeah. <laughs> and an extra guy. We're halfway there. Good lord. Back to this one. I'm not sure the exact title, but I remember seeing the trailer and it looked super rad. I think it's out now for uh, Jet Set or Jet Grind Radio. If it's a wet transfer sheet, it needs water. I don't. That I don't know. I don't think it's a wet transfer sheet. I think it's just a regular decal. It's interesting how the decal is because it's not a straight vinyl decal. It has like the printed part and then a clear, you know, a clear thing over it. Because what I did was when I put that on and then lifted it up, the decal like stayed on. I wonder if I had a picture. I don't think I do. It stayed on the metal and I still had the graphic up and I'm like, it like peeled away from the, the top part of the decal. So I might try to maybe try to find some research or maybe something putting it on. And it's fairly simple. It just goes straight, curves a little bit and then straight again. So I'm like, I should be able to do it. Should. But I did have to buy another decal. They're not, they're not cheap. So I'm hoping this will be the last time I get it. that part <clears throat> okay i just got to play choice 10 dual monitor pcb i'm getting the jamma adapter so it'll be a single monitor play choice 10 it also comes with an nes zapper plug-in i'm also getting the nes card as well wow so you got a bunch of stuff coming in so what is the um the jamma adapter makes it just a one screen one just for that game or like your regular games? Because mine's a dual one as well. Um, I do enjoy the dual screens on those games that I have. But like I said, I was going to get one of the JAMA adapters for like number 10 slot or whatever. There's like two games on it that I don't like. That's like wrestling and golf when I'm like, I'm never going to play. But yeah, I would like to use the, I would like to get like um, wild uh, gunmen on there and use the zapper, which would be super fun. Oh, it's like a baby's toy. <sighs> what are we talking about, WD-40? If you have two, play around with the first one to see what's up. Wait, what is he saying? Two what? I've done three. Oh, oh, I've done like three videos where I replace the NES cart label. Nobody gets stickers. It sounds like you have a fair cut decal. If you have two, play around with. I, no, like I got rid of the first one. Unfortunately, putting it on because it got stuck, and then I, in rage, ripped it off. <laughs> If all fails, use WD-40 and duct tape to put it back together. Oh, no. Wait, did I save there? Oh, okay. I thought I went back further to where I saved. I was like, wait, did I mess up? Yeah, and then I also have decals for the side, but those are flat, completely flat. So those would be easy to put on. What's funny is that was like the first gift my wife got. We were just dating. We were even married then. But I had gotten the play choice and she, she got me that as like a surprise. Can't say what what it is. I don't know if it's die cut. 
It's different from the vinyl that goes on the side of it, if that makes sense. There we go. Oh, see over here, there's that guy that shoots the missiles at you. If it's printed into the palette, it's a water transfer. I wish there was a way I could look up. Hmm. Perhaps I can look up in my mail and see where I, I, I forgot even what site I got it from. Um. Arcade overlays. I think I can do. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. I can. I gotta sign in for the YouTube. Hang on. I'm gonna drop a link in the chat, and you take a look and see. See what you tell. Tell me if this is it. Technical difficulties here. Okay. Perfect. Here we are. <laughs> it's weird that it, I, I have to log in on OBS Studio, but it won't let me chat. Like, I can literally see the chat in there, but it, I have to, like, log in again. All right. That's the sticker I got. You let me know what you think. <laughs> Back in here. Kit Murphy, love this game. So many childhood memories. Thanks, Russ. Yeah, this game was a good rental back in the day for sure. So especially maybe if you had siblings and you played played with them, because it's a fun two-player game. Good soundtrack. Yeah, can't go wrong with chat. saving. I'm not taking it. We're going to beat it this time. Yep. It's less than half an hour. Well, back when you would paint the side of the cabinets, you put the overlay on, paint the design. Oh, right, right. here i'll read uh dante's comments after this uh, boss battle here because it's, it's a little longer than a glance <laughs> ah. escape that one. nice we got it Let's go. We got the yeah one instead of here. <laughs> Two levels left, guys. Gonna save here. <clears throat> uh, I don't have a cabinet or a harness for the board. The Gemma adapter will allow you to play on one monitor, and I think it's a button three and four to switch, like you have a second monitor. I do have an email that I can email you and talk back and forth. Also, where did you get your CPO 
from this old game has some good uh i don't know what the cpo is you could just hit hit me up at russ lyman 81 at gmail.com that's my email there russ lyman 81 gmail there you go ah uh, yes a trans flash sticker a bit of water wouldn't hurt okay it's 3m adhesive it's waterproof so you're thinking, because I've seen some videos, they said add a little Dawn soap to some warm water in a uh, squirter, wet your area and put it on, spray it on, get your desired fit squeegee. Right. Yeah, I got a, sque a squeegee. I just ordered one from uh, Ammo. It's a car company place that I follow. For my car needs. I had a nice little squeegee. If not, I get, you can use a gift card, I guess. Although it could scratch it with the gift card. Put a microfiber towel over the gift card. I don't know. Buy a squeegee. <laughs> God, okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Get this guy. So perhaps I'll tackle that project next week. I've been uh, like, uh, I don't want to have to buy another one. <laughs> Get the water out and the adhesive will dry and stick. Perfect. Don't do Dawn. Okay, straight water. So I'll spray some straight water on there, let it dry overnight, and then I'll come back with a nice, sharp X-Acto blade and cut out the holes for the buttons and the uh, joysticks there. That should be easy enough. You, only gotta, you basically just can make an X just to in there just to get your, uh, your buttons through. <laughs> you sell squeegees at the Dollar Tree. There you go. Grab yourself a squeegee. I did want to pick up you sell at the Dollar Tree was um in the craft sections. They have like cubes and and there's like maybe 16 in a pack. And I've seen someone get those, paint them and do pixel art with them. So I thought that might be a fun little project. Bring me Joy-Con. What is up? Welcome to the stream. We're almost, we got two levels left here of jackal we're talking about uh the play choice 10 um, refurbishing about applying uh decals and whatnot to it oh god get rid of that guy all right wonder left or right one of them's one of them's harder than the other probably that was probably a Should be in great shape. I mean, we have save states, but we also have seven guys. Woo! I do like that you can run the guys over. We'll switch back. <laughs> Should put rockets on my car like that. There is a friend of mine. He has like a transformer type car, and so he has like, some, like fake guns and stuff on the car. I did a video. I did like a like a promo video for his car. I don't know if it's still on my channel. I might have unlisted the video, but he had two of them that he built. So I, I took took some fun drone shots of the cars. Let's save up here. Obviously, center the middle of the sticker and line the edges slowly, and then cut everything else. Use enough water to keep it on a bubble. Also, I was gonna put like blue painters tape to like when I line it up put it up peel up the back so then it doesn't like switch or something like that 
Russ, did you know that there's a jackal? Yes, I haven't played it though. See, I don't know if it's on here. I can check. I have this. I do have my arcade one up um, over here. What did I hit? Oh, God. Oh, I think we just started over. Oh, I hope I didn't delete my save. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Um, I do have an arcade thing on here. But I don't think Jackal's on here. I've never played it in the arcade. Oh, we do. <laughs> Look at that. Will it play? The Rams okay. I'm so used to the NES one. Now. All right, a little bit different music. Oh my guys, parachute down and get in. I like the NES music for honestly. Oh, we're already at the pillars here? Oh, you just get points? Where's my guys? Power up. Oh, and I move a little bit faster. We'll have to do a playthrough of this. Oh, what do you guys think? Oh, wow, I like that explosion there. Okay. <laughs> Sweet, so we do have it on there. I wonder if it's... I have my Play Choice mod it with a, a Raspberry Pi in it, so I wonder if it's on there, too. To get the real arcade feel, you know? and load this back up. Um, I'm producing an album for a folk singer and I'm flipping a house for a client. Jeez. Last Dragon. $4.99. Let's go. Get the coins. Thank you so much. First time I'm seeing you comment and, and I don't know, maybe you're lurking in the background. So very much appreciated for the, for the donation. I'll go towards uh, diaper fund for the baby. And, and Oak City back with another 99. <laughs> Wait for, is it, it going to pop up again on there? It should pop up again. Let's see. Trying to retire from where it has. Oh, yeah, it does have Genesis twang to it in the, uh, like, I feel like this is just a cleaner audio track. We'll throw points in. Oak City with a dollar. There we go. Got the coins. Oh, again, same mistake. <laughs> I forgot that was coming up. Here we go. Support the Lyman. Guys, too, if you, if you guys aren't subscribed to my uh, podcast channel, be sure to check that out. We got the, uh, the weekly warp pipe right there. It's a YouTube channel, or you can listen on Spotify, Google iTunes, new shows every Wednesday and Saturday, 7 a.m. We're over 100. Uh, over 100. We're over almost 60. There it is. Hope City in the house. Jeez, the wheeze. Oh. 
let's see, bro, one of my NES games of all time. Not sure no one replicate. You're saying this one's your favorite one of all time? Okay, yeah. Me and my buddy Jay talk about this all the time and how I wish there was a sequel. Like, even, I even take a ROM hack. If someone, where's John Riggs? Make the Jeeps a different color. You know, switch, see if you can switch up the levels again. I'll take a Jackal ROM hack so I can get a sequel. That'd be great. Oh god, oh god. Can I get this guy from here? Yeah, nice. Watch, watch the, the landmines. Alright. Alright, I'm not taking no chances here. Oh, you guys are doing a weekly show too? Here on Nobody Cares channel. <laughs> I talk about things that I want to do or force myself to do. Okay. You can hold yourself accountable. Like, okay, well, I talked about it on the show. And now I, I am more likely to follow through on that. I can see that being pretty good. Oh, God. Why is it crazy over here? I think we just have to take the death. I don't think I was getting through that. Can I get a can I get a power up here? Yes! Just you're just what I needed! Perfect. <laughs> the game beaters in the house. Hi Russ in chat. Been seeing the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom handheld Russ made all over so nice! Yeah, that's getting some recognition for sure. Dirk says, no Wednesday show today. Oh, I might have forgotten to edit it. Jeez. I might have, yeah. I thought I had them all scheduled up. Yeah, I think I did. We have, it's recorded. It's going to have to go out in the morning because we're recording the new show <laughs> tomorrow. So Thursday, we'll have the new one up. I think, what did we even talk about? We recorded it two weeks ago because I was going on vacation. So I was on uh, out of the loop there. So you got one coming tomorrow morning and then Saturday. Yeah, I got a few more of the um, Tiger handhelds I have to make, so hopefully the video gets more love. Is people thirsty for Wednesday videos because I'll switch off Sundays? <laughs> Not just because we say every Wednesday and Saturday we're doing um, we're doing the uh, podcast stuff there. I'm always busy weekends, only time to have it myself. Weekday shows I watch because after work I want to veg out. Right, right. That's what most say, yeah. Did I delete my... Yep, okay. <laughs> it's alright, we saved somewhere. There we go. Oh, I knew it. I was just going to go. Just to get up here. There's two chapters? Or hold on. I think... Maybe I died after I got past that part. I think maybe that's what it was. Because I still have the missiles here. Right? Was it, do I have the four way? Yeah, okay. Okay, can I reach these guys from here? Yes, perfect. Are you kidding me? The little guy with the bazooka? <laughs> Tony, are all the. They possibly might be. I have to go check because someone uh, messaged me on Instagram. We had one at one. And I was like, yeah, you're all set because we had a conversation. 
but I thought I put his name down, and unless he changed his Instagram name, he might have. So I have to double check that, because then there'll be one free. Fill basements with gravel for a living. More move stone and a wheelbarrow. Oh, I can imagine. No need to join a gym, that's for sure. Oh, save here. These guys are a pain. It's tough with the missiles and stuff like this. Got him. That guy was trying to shoot me. Did we get all our guys? Again! This guy's determined. How many guys I got in this Jeep? There's been 15 guys. That's it. Jeez. Shoot me, Tony, shoot me a, 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 like a message on like Instagram so I could file it in there. Like, hey, reach it out again if you got, if you got an extra one. Then let me know. I was ordering, I'm waiting on ink to show up so I can print, print the ones I have. Because I only sent out two. I sent one to John Hancock and John Riggs. And they did little videos of it um, on there. So it's probably getting more traction now. People checking it out. Autocorrect Strix again. The clown car of Jeeps, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. This boss and one more level. I think we can knock it out. We got 15 minutes. Is there one more gun on that side? Or do I have to shoot the middle? Okay, yeah, shoot the middle. Yeah! Let's go! Woo. Let's get a save here. I'd shoot a link to my pro... My profile work of replacing labels of my collection. I'm gonna what Sal Russ to wrench me. <laughs> Is your auto auto correct uh, must be messing up? <laughs> Add me to your blue man group. Oh yes, the turrets. That's what makes this level a pain. Well, at least the guys can't get shot by the uh, the other guys here. I can't.
take chances. Last level jackal. Here we go. Got eight guys. Plus save seats. Just go. Wait, how do we get? Can I? Ah, oh, is it like the wrong way? Gotta go this way. Blow these jets up. Ah! <laughs> so many turrets on this roof. Perfect. Oh, we got me with the copter. Whoa, see, look at this. Go! Do I have anyone? Get in there. No, okay. Just the people driving it, I guess. We gotta save over here. Man, pretty far. This music is rocket. It's a good one. Yeah, for sure. Says <laughs> it's good they got saved. Those freaking things again. Now it's even harder to hit it because I got the uh the grenades. I guess what you could do to my advantage is more things on screen, the more slowdown there is. I believe this is the boss here. No? Okay. Oh god. Ah, you got me. Just go. Just go. I will see. I got the safe state. <laughs> I figured I could just push through to the boss. Here we go. Holy crap, the distance it can get. What? Oh, I'm stuck in the ground. I can't even keep up with the tanks that are hitting there. There we go. Alright, we got those down. Then we just have to blow the, blow the building. Ah! Oh, last guy. Fingers crossed, no one's coming. All right, now they're coming. Yes! Oh God, now it's a tank. <laughs> we celebrated too early. Wow. All right, we're starting here.
more. How many tanks should we send? Yes. Yes. And then the fact that it turns into a giant tank after. Ah. Wait, can I just go then? This is where we lost a lot of the guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, with the freaking missile? Oh, we got through it though. up with the grenades because you have that slight delay of when you throw with the missiles it's like boom right away even with turbo i don't think i don't think the machine gun is anything to this all right so we'll have to save once i get past this part Now, shoot. Slime buckets out. Who's saying goodnight? Oh, Oak City Gamers. Much appreciate you guys hanging out for as long as you did. Get some rest. Catch you on the flip side. It was close. Only a few more hits. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> He's probably going to shoot me right there. Off to the side. Let's dodge. Good pattern, just hit, dodge, hit, dodge. Sometimes he goes early. Oh. 
stay to the right or left. He can't shoot you with the big gun. Oh, okay. So I just have the one... The one to dodge. There we go. This might work. Two hits in. I don't think that one's connecting though. That one, that one. Has to. Ah, ah. See, I wonder if you could shoot the little gun off of them. Yeah, I know the tank has to be destroying the whole base down below. These big old fire shots. I can't tell if those are hitting. I mean, I physically could see it's hitting. I don't know, that's registering in his hitbox, though. Like that when you hear it. Dude. Maybe I should just stick to these the straight, straight up ones. You can hear a little like it makes contact. And it wasn't doing that with the diagonal ones. Like that. That you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. think that take can die technically going over i still got to set up for the uh the podcast but i want to beat it look at this
got him brown before, so. Oh, see, he gets me with that one. There it is. Alright, we should be good. We got two guys, safe states, and he's brown. Red. How many more colors is he gonna turn? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, he's gotta be close. Oh god, so many close calls. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Is that it? Is that it? Anything else extra? Well done. Your mission accomplished. I think only three minutes over. There we go. Oh, we got the chopper coming in. Pick up our boys. There's Jay. <laughs> by Hori. Character design, Fujiwara. My, my fingers were cramping. No palm sweaty, but my fingers were cramped up just from pulling that controller. Ah, stretch it out. Get the coins. Completed. Music by Fujio. Visual design, Shimoji. And be sure, guys, if you're watching now, go to the weekly Warp Pipe um, YouTube channel and leave a comment on the community post. We asked you guys if you could bring one game to a deserted island. What game would it be? We'll read your comments on this week's episode. Push start key. I guess you just could do it again. Round two. Round two. So, cool. Sweet guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. We'll be back again next Wednesday for another stream, 8 o'clock. We're playing some awesome retro games. Quick shout out to the Patreons down below Dan and Nicole's Trezors Untold, Joe Sheevy, Trace Living Good, Samantha Chang, Rodney Torts, Retroholics 16 for supporting the live stream. Thanks, everyone, in the chat as well. Dante, shoot me a email, russlyman81 at gmail.com. We'll talk Play Choice 10 stuff, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. to come back on next is throwing two dollars at the at the last minute <laughs> do i have coins set up on this one no i have to go i don't know if a pop up in there two dollar donation by nexus let's go <laughs> much appreciate it bloody bones can you do some gameplay of bro force i do have it on the ps4 the fourth of july would be a great time to do it good call yeah Bro Force is definitely fun. I, I'm sure I could get it on the PS5 to get it on there, but I could definitely do Bro Force. I'd love to have someone. I think you could play online with people, though, right? I think you could do online. I know it's multiple player, Bro Force, but okay, sweet. All right. I got a piece out. Dollar. Coins again. Thank you so much, Nexus. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next one.